Good day to our viewers and welcome to the next episode of Dr. Knox. Today I would like to interview a few of our colleagues who are currently in a field trip over in the United States. Hi Mara, hi Carlis. So please tell me, what is it that you have found? Hi, I'm Mara Gadin, Technical Support Manager for DNX North America. Hi, I'm Carlos Bonis, Customer Care and Mechatronics Product Business Manager. And today we'll be speaking about typical field issues with knock sensors. We're going to show you a few parts and what to look for in these parts to help you troubleshoot the root cause of your knock sensor failures. We have a fuel injector here off of a Cummins ISB engine. The injectors were over fueling, causing excessive regions where you can see then that the DPF has melted due to the excessive fuel in the exhaust system. You can also see a very neat effect of soot trying to escape the DPF at the other end. And if it in fact does escape, it will inevitably reach the NOx sensor and that will cause a failure. And so, uh, can you tell us exactly where our NOx sensors go? Here we have a truck that is currently running on the latest emission standards. Normally within these we will have two NOx sensors. One of them will be situated before the SCR catalyst, which is found right over here. The other one will be situated after the SCR catalyst, which we cannot unfortunately see right now. I've heard NOx sensors are exposed to harsh living conditions. Is this true? NOx sensors are extremely fragile. They live in extreme harsh environments and they're highly dependent on the engine as well as the after treatment system running properly. What exactly do you mean by running properly? Can you show us any examples where it might not be the case? What Mara is holding in her hands right now is what's called the back pressure valve. What usually goes wrong with these is this spring will break and there will be nothing to return the valve to an open position. And when it gets stuck in the closed position, it will cause excessive carbon buildup, which usually builds up right around the place where the NOx sensor is installed. EGR valves can fail due to excessive carbon buildup. When an EGR valve fails, you can have excessive regions, which then has a poor effect on the NOx sensors. What about DEF or AdBlue crystallization? I have heard it can be a considerable issue that can throw off a NOx sensor. For example, here we have a silencer that has returned to our factory for quality investigation, and we can see it is full of white snow-like substance. So what about it? Of course, Dr. Knox, the F or AdBlue crystallization is degrading the SCR system efficiency. We can see here, it has already started from the injector and has most likely spread downstream. The NOx sensor will simply detect a failing SCR system in the form of elevated NOx concentration. Okay, okay, all of that together, I feel like my head's about to explode. Can you <laughs> try to summarize? So in conclusion, to protect yourself against the premature NOx sensor failure, please make sure to follow all the maintenance recommendations for your engine. Change the engine oil in time, make sure that the turbo is not leaking oil, make sure the EGR valve is not stuck and the cooler is not leaking coolant. You also want to make sure that you're doing DPF maintenance per your manufacturer's recommendations. You also want to make sure that you're replacing your DEF filter on a regular basis and making sure that you don't have any depth crystallization. Thank you to our wonderful colleagues from over in the United States. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you learned a lot. Please make sure to check out our website to buy all our DNX products where you get OEM quality at an aftermarket price. And see you next time. And please do not forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next episode.